My name is Deborah Lowenberg Ball. Uh, I'm at the University of Michigan, and uh, for many years I was an elementary school classroom teacher. And my work as a um, faculty member uh, centers directly on pr practice, the teaching practice, and I'm interested in studying problems involved in trying to teach well, and in particular then what that has to do with helping beginning teachers learn to be skillful enough to be responsible for children's learning. So um, one session that I'll be participating in uh, later in the conference is one that relates very much to questions that are paramount in policy right now, and that has to do with research on instruction and uh, teacher evaluation. So the question on the panel that I'll be participating in, it will involve several of us in talking about the problem of developing um, observation tools for instruction or other ways to study instructional practice that are sensitive to the fact that children in classrooms differ so much. So you imagine a researcher developing an observation tool to observe in classrooms. If that tool is insensitive to the kinds of work a teacher might do who's teaching many children who don't speak English as their primary language and how that might look different from a teacher who's teaching in a classroom where there you know, is in a rural area where there are different challenges that the children are bringing to school and different resources, that if the observation tools are insensitive to the fact that teaching is so much dependent on who your students are, at the same time that there are general practices that teachers engage in no matter who their students are that's a kind of a conundrum for policy is how do you build tools that are sensitive enough to cultural diversity and difference and yet can bring forward some of the common practices that teachers engage in no matter where they teach and that's a an unanswered question in the field I think one thing that would be great for people to think more about is that teaching is a learnable practice and that the more that we can learn to have highly developed language, technical language around the components of teaching, it will enable so many more things. It will enable teachers to work with their colleagues more closely on improving practice. It will enable teacher education or professional development to zoom in more carefully on the practice. It will enable policies like teacher evaluation or selection or uh, reward policies to be more centered on the actual work. And this is a place where teachers and researchers could do much more work together because teachers are more likely to have sensitive discrimination about the features of the work. However, because teaching lacks a language, it would be work that teachers would have to engage in in order to enable researchers, policymakers to zoom more closely to practice.